What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. I've been thinking about bringing the Q&A section back, not to this video, but as um, YouTube uh, shorts and Instagram reels and what is the other one? TikToks. <laughs> so if you're interested in me doing that and answering those in that way, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you don't want those questions at all, let me know as well. So I guess hashtag yes uh, would mean you want the questions, you want them to me to put them in a short format, uh, you know, separate videos, or, and then no would be no, I don't want them at all. So please just put something in the comments down below. I'll check it later today. Without further ado, let's jump into the tech news. First story of the day has to do with the Google Pixel Watch and some specs that have released out for them from a French retailer. So here we go, guys. Pixel Watch, same 1.6 inch AMOLED with 320 PPI. There's also been rumors that the display is gonna be 1.36, so be a little iffy on that. Up to 1,000 nits of brightness with always on mode, which is very nice. 1,000 nits is pretty bright overall. Dial size will be 41 millimeters. Corning Gorilla Glass 5 3D. Exynos 9110 for the processor, which again is not the newest, it's actually a pretty old processor. Cortex M33 co-processor to probably handle some a lot of the smart functions of the watch. Two gigabytes of RAM. It's gonna run Google Wear OS 3.5. It'll have Bluetooth 5.0, Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz. You can get a 4G LTE version of this watch. NFC for digital payments and such. It'll have heart rate monitor and ECG monitoring. Five ATM, 50 meter of water resistance and 24 hours battery life, which a lot of people probably look down upon. The other thing it's, I didn't see I mentioned is it should have 32 gigs of storage for you to store music, photos, things like that. And then the price is supposed to be starting off at 349. Last story of the day has to do with the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro and some benchmarks that have finally been leaked out for that new Tensor 2 processor and what type of performance to expect from it and what I wanna say about it at the end of it. So check this out. So this is coming from Yogesh Brar. I know he pulled it from somewhere. I forget, I saw it somewhere else, but then he's posting it too. But anyways, uh, the Google 7, Pixel 7 Pro benchmark scores will be single core of 1068, multi-core of 3149 and 2280, these scores are similar to Snapdragon 888, 880 Plus, which you remember are uh, is a processor from last year. Tensor G2 is still behind flagships, but will lead in ISP and AI performance. So what we are gonna say about that basically is, think about your phone last year. Was it fast? Probably yes. Did it, um, was it able to run you know, games at basically the highest performance or high performances that you were very happy and comfortable with? Yes. Is, it, is this processor that's in the Pixel 7 Pro, you know, is it as fast as a, 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 what Apple has or what's in the 8 Gen 1 or gonna be in the 8 Gen 2? No, it's not. But is it gonna do everything really, really well? Probably. I mean, even you can grab the Pixel 6 or 6 Pro and it still feels very, very fluid, very, very fast. So we're at a point of things that we're doing with our phones aren't that big a deal. It handles almost every processor from the last couple or few years, runs really, really good. So I wouldn't worry about that part of it not being like the upper, echel upper, upper echelon of processors. Um, I would be worried about nothing, to be honest with you. I'd be worried about, is it gonna give me good battery life? Is it gonna overheat? That's what I would be concerned with. And if it does not overheat and it does give good battery life, all is good in the world because it's gonna be able to run everything that you want perfectly fine and really, really well, not even just fine. So let me know your thoughts on the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro benchmarks and scores and the Pixel Watch. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.